The devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind because he was way behind and he was willing to make a deal. Well, they certainly don't lack the talent. They don't lack the facilities. And from what we saw this past spring, they don't lack the fan support. Yeah, that's right. The numbers don't lie. Over 93,000 attended this past season's spring game in Athens between the hedges, an SEC record. And you can come up with your conclusions why Mark Richt, after 15 years, was let go. I don't think it was because of last year's defense. I mean, especially the secondary. Tops in the country, giving up only 156 yards of passing per game. Nearly everybody's back, including all SEC performer Dominic Sanders at safety, as well as Aaron Davis at a corner. Could, though, the secondary be on the bit of a decline this year, despite having nearly everybody back? Well, Possibly, because most of the front seven has to be replaced. You're going to miss Jake Gannis. You're going to miss Jordan Jenkins and Leonard Floyd. All terrific linebackers have all moved on. So Davin Bellamy, as well as Lorenzo Carter, have big shoes to fill in from their outside linebacker spot. Uh, defensive tackle, the future looks bright with sophomore Trent Thompson. But again, a lot of losses that Kirby Smart will have to deal with on that front seven side. But the Bulldogs last season had a hard time sustaining drives. Barely over 30% of the time did Georgia convert on third down. Big reason for that, they weren't really known for a downfield passing type offense. Georgia's offense was only 83rd in the country in passing. So you wonder if the fifth-year senior Grayson Lambert can hold on to his job. Nick Chubb, see how his status goes. It looks like he could be ready for the season opener. Sonny Michelle will have to wait because he did break his arm in an ATV accident earlier in July. Receivers, very loaded there. Isaiah McKenzie, terrific receiver as well as kick and punt returner. Offensive line returns four of six, including Greg Pike at the right tackle. Those two creeps over there uh, asked me to bring this to the lady. Looking at my six-pack of games to consume, remember Georgia plays in the SEC East, not the West. So they won't see Bama or LSU. However, there are matchups, though, against Ole Miss as well as Auburn. West of schedule doesn't play out that bad, although North Carolina at the beginning of the year could be tricky. Remember, the Tar Heels won 11 games a year ago. The game, though, is in Atlanta. Experienced receivers plus secondary and a relatively favorable schedule means I've got Georgia winning nine. I can't exceed that total because of the unknowns about the front seven as well as the health of the backfield.